My Cool School project is all about Halloween. Halloween has been celebrated for a long, long time, even before I was born. Trick or treat, kids. But I've been trick or treating for as long as I can remember. That's at least seven years, so I'm pretty much an expert. The first reason Halloween is awesome is you get to dress up. Kids dress up, grown-ups dress up, babies dress up, even your dog can dress up. You can be a witch or a ghost or a skeleton and be scary. Or you can be a prince or a princess and wear a crown. You can be big and strong like a superhero or a dinosaur. Or you can be funny like a clown. <laughs> or scary like a clown. I don't like clowns. What did I do? Once you're dressed up, you're ready to go trick-or-treating. Number one reason this is awesome? Candy! Glorious buckets and bags of never-ending candy. You just tell people to give you candy, and they do. Personally, I think it's nicer to ask. You knock on the door and yell, trick or treat! And then they say, oh, you're so cute! And then they give you candy! My little brother says, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Which is amazing because people laugh. Instead of saying, what a horrible child, and closing the door. My brother is just joking when he says that. But his feet are so stinky that people can't help but smell them. P.U. Speaking of brothers, once you get home, it is absolutely necessary that you hide your Halloween candy in the best hiding spot ever. If you don't, he'll find your stash and gobble up all your best treats. Usually I have two bags, the small one that I share, and the big one, all for me. Okay, back to the fun stuff. You might also get to go to a Halloween carnival. You can eat caramel apples, or red candy apples, or Bob for apples. Hey, I'm Bob, and I love apples. No, not a guy named Bob who likes apples. Yeah, that's what I meant. You can see all kinds of pumpkins at a carnival, from teensy tiny itty bitty ones to great big giant ones. Sometimes people even wear pumpkins on their heads, like in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And my personal favorite pumpkin is the Great Pumpkin from Charlie Brown. You can dance to the Monster Mash, or go to a haunted house. Ooh. Okay, it's not really haunted. Usually it's just some older kids dressed up in costumes. Oh, hey. Boo. So let's recap. Halloween means you get to have the most fun ever, dress up in an awesome costume, and eat a megaton of free candy. And that is why Halloween is the best day ever. Don't go anywhere. More awesome Halloween videos are starting right now. My school project is about witches. This is a witch. We know it's a witch because of a few things. First, the pointy black hat. Hey, give me back my hat! Here you go. Thank you. Most, if not all witches, have a pointy hat. But not all people with pointy hats are witches. <laughs> the next thing we look for in a witch is the green skin. Don't you look at my skin! I'll be green if I want to! But not all things with green skin are witches. <coughs> Another thing we look for in a witch is a long crooked nose with a wart on top. You leave my nose alone. I like it. There's nothing wrong with a long nose because not everything with a long nose is a witch. And last, we know it's a witch if it's doing magic, especially while riding a broomstick. And mixing things in a cauldron. And so, in conclusion, if she has a pointy hat, green skin, a long crooked nose with a wart on top, and she's doing magic while riding a broomstick, well then, you are correct. Your sister is definitely a witch. My project is about trolls. These are trolls. Some trolls are big and others are small, but they all seem to have similar features. Trolls are often very large, smelly, and dirty. This most likely comes from their unhealthy diet of eating only mountain goats. Their skin is very tough and has many shades of gray in its coloring. When trolls are sleeping, they can often be mistaken for a pile of rocks. Their hair is made of bushes and trees, as this helps them hide when they don't want to be seen. 
A troll with a great hairdo can look like a nice place for a mountain goat to rest and get some shade. Not so in this situation. Sorry, Mr. Goat. Eh, it's okay. Trolls' personalities are a funny thing. They think very highly of themselves, as if they are the smartest in all the land. But in reality, they are not the smartest in all the land. Hey, I heard that. Trolls are also very greedy. They don't like to share, and they will get into fights with one another about silly little things. <laughs> It is this selfishness that prevents trolls from ever being truly happy. So, don't be a troll, be happy. And always be nice to mountain goats. Want more cool school? Click here! And click here to subscribe! Bleh.